Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, oftentimes, and when I say often, I mean all the time, people come up and always ask and talk about, hey, I want to learn how to invest and I want what to invest in. And oh, I want to learn the stock market and what's what to invest in in the stock market. But they're sitting here with a crap ton of debt. People just don't understand math. In this video, we're just going to break down the math of what's more important, investing in the stock market or paying off high high interest consumer debt. With all that being said, Alex, you can take it. I get that a lot. Um, that's what I was trying to think of before we started this video. But that's that's how people come to me. They you know they they want to invest and everything, but it's and I always tell people it like it's hard for me to just teach you how to invest because it investing is more than that. It's beyond that. It's controlling your personal finances first and learning the discipline that you need before getting into investing. Like it's so much more than just like, Oh, this is how you invest. These are investments. No, you, if you could learn how to invest and if you don't control your money or you don't know how to, or manage it, you're going to be poor anyway. And, you know, we see it with people that, you know, celebrities and stuff that make a lot of money. Um, right. you know, you see them like I say celebrities, but I meant like sports players and stuff. Like unless they have someone financially guiding them, they end up broke. And it's because of that. It's the same thing with investing. If you get into, you know, we see it with some of the stock traders, the penny stock traders, the forex traders, they're blowing all their money on things that don't matter because they didn't learn that first thing, personal money management, you know, managing your finances and how to be disciplined with it. And People, you know, they'll they they'll have all these, you know, like new like brand new cars, these car payments they'll have and these car payments are outrageous with like fifteen to twenty percent interest rates. And then they'll have credit cards. And that's the first thing you could do. Pay that off so you're not being charged that interest rate. You don't have that monthly payment amount. Now, once it's paid off, you have that freed up income and you can use that towards investing. But doing that first is the goal. And um, investing is math. Everybody can agree with that. It's all about math. You know, you want to invest, you want to multiply your money. So let's use a simple mathematic problem here. If the S&P 500 historical average is between, let's not say between, let's say 10%. Let's just give it 10%. That's the historical average return, 10% a year. And 85% of the money managers and the people that quote unquote are experts in investing can't beat the S&P 500. So 10%, money managers can't beat 10%. So that's what your expected return is, is 10% return. But your credit cards are 26 and 30 percent interest rate. So you're going to invest and you have all this consumer debt. The best mathematical thing that makes sense is you pay off the consumer debt to invest because you paying off the consumer debt. That's a guaranteed 30 percent return on your money without having the debt, especially credit cards. And then with that money, like Alex said, you can go into investing. But for the life of me, people think, oh, I'm, I'm going to make some more money and then I'm going to pay off. I'm going to pay off the debt. It doesn't make mathematical sense. Mathematical sense is you pay off the thing where you're paying 30 percent interest on. You pay off the thing like car payments. If you got 15 percent interest on car payments, it makes you get a bigger return paying off the consumer debt. Then you will get. In the stock market, yeah, you will have stocks that go up 100%, but everybody's not going to be in those stocks. Again, the average return to S&P 500, and that's the benchmark everybody uses, 10%, and 85% of money managers cannot beat that S&P 500 year in and year out. So you, if you just invest in the S&P 500, you should expect 10%, 12% returns. If you have debt at an interest rate higher than 10%, then... You need to be paying off that debt before you think about stepping a foot in the stock investment room. And that's 100% mathematical facts. Yeah, and I think paying off that debt, like I said, to paint it off first will show you, 
will teach you discipline. It'll it'll teach you that you know you're capable of setting a goal, executing a goal, and now you can move on to the next step and the next goal. Um, that's actually it saved me a lot of time when people come up to me because now I just tell them I'll talk to you when you pay off your debt, <laughs> and I never hear from them <laughs> again. So. You know, but it's, it's, I mean, if, if, but if someone pays off their debt, it shows like, okay, so you are kind of serious. So, I mean, but a lot of people, they can't get out of that. They don't want to pay off their debt. They'd rather have their money to blow on something else. So. Yeah. Before we get on my soapbox, but Alex, you, you said it perfectly. It's about discipline. The word is invest to invest. You need money to invest. So how do you get money? Live below your means and not have, outrageous spending going to stuff that's you know that you don't need but you got outrageous spending going everywhere get a control of your finances get the money to invest there's no way around it and i know it's fancy stuff on internet talking about oh well if, I, if you can find an investment well find me the investment find the investment that's going to get you a 30 guaranteed 30 percent return but i can get you a guaranteed 30 percent return if you pay off your credit card debt that's where the biggest return is. Because if you're paying 30% interest, 29% interest, or whatever the hell these credit cards are charging these days, you're screwed. You're working in reverse. With all that being said, thanks for listening to the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. See you guys.